sauti kabla ya jaketi tusome kitabu cha Zaburi 112 mstari wa 15 chapter 1 and verse 15 the bible says mlango wa 200 na 102 mstari wa 15 biblia inasema so the nations shall fear the name of the lord and all the kings of the earth your glory kisha mataifa wataliogopa jina la bwana na wafalme wote wa dunia utukufu wako Let's read together those words in Psalms 102 verse 15 three four So the nations shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth you are glory Let us read loud and clear your sayings on this 14th day of August the day some few years ago we said yes with Mama Grace Amarebale we said yes I do Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was on a day like today. Ile pasiku kama leo. Some few years ago, miaka michache iliyopita. In Kakamega High School, katika shule ya upili ya Kakamega, in the assembly hall, katika ule ukumbi wa kukutana, we said yes, I do. Tulisema ndio nakubali. I don't know why I'm going to it today. I sometimes I don't remember. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this is a strong day. For those who are looking forward to getting married, you are receiving the grace today. For those who are in marriage, the Lord is increasing the sweetness in your marriage today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, so the nations shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth your glory. Let's read loud and clear. So the nations shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth your glory. Want to command the nation of Kenya, taka to amuru taifa la Kenya to fear the name of the Lord. Buliogopa jina la Bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the kings, the leaders of this nation, fear His name and fear His glory. Wacha mataifa ma wafalme na viongozi wa taifa ili waogope jina lake na utukufu wake. Come on, raise up your hands, begin to pray for this nation. Ili wamekuwa naanza kuombea taifa hili. Kenya as a nation shall fear the name of the Lord. Mama Kenya kama taifa itaogopa jina la Bwana. We are standing on that scripture. Tunasimama katika ile andiko. So the nations shall fear the name of the Lord. We are commanding Kenya to fear the name of the Lord. In what is going on right now across this nation? Let it be the fear of the Lord. It goes to region. It goes to region. It goes to eastern region. It goes to central region. It goes to eastern region. It goes to Nyanza region. It goes to Nairobi region. Katika eneo la Nairobi, in the western Kenya region, katika eneo la Magharibi ya Kenya, katika bonde la Mama Reverend was telling me that today's service should be around prayer. Mama Kasarwana na ngepo maibani ya leo na sali kuhusiana na maombi. I was in agreement with the Lord that the Lord wants us to do prayer or uh, in this service. Na nikakubaliana na yeye kwamba Bwana anataka tufanye maombi katika ibada hii. Most of you have been kneeling down before the Lord after night or even before night. You must have been receiving the signal you know, that there is need for serious prayer over this land. Those of you whose ears are alert, 
and oh you see these shots the Lord must have communicated to you or is communicating to you that there is need for us to do prayer uh, today, tomorrow at least two, three, four days to come is a lot of evil sacrifices going on. There are people that are going to other nations to see how they can service their wicked altars. So before we release our children and prepare to enter into prayer of our nation, if they can still pray here with us today, there can be no big deal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are saying hallelujah. So before we do that, let's read Jeremiah 17 verse 7 to 8. 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 What I want to do is to talk to you as a leader. To talk to you as a king who loves this nation. To talk to you as a king who loves this nation. May I have voted, not voted, but just want to talk to you. But just, just listen to me very well. Because what I want to talk about is beyond just what we are in. And what I think the Lord left in my heart to share with us means that to each other is how. Do we deal with disappointment and unmet expectations? How do we deal with it? How do we deal with disappointment? And unmet expectations. Na kutotimiza matarajio yako. A man may propose to a young lady for marriage and she says yes. Wenda kijana wa kiume haka mchumia mstana kwa jili ya ndoa na ya nasema niyo. And as they begin moving on, the man changes his mind or the lady changes his mind. Na wana poedalea kusoka mele ule kijana wa kiume anabalisha mawazo yake ama ule wa kike anabalisha mawazo yake. In this life, katika maisha haya, there are times you will be disappointed. In this life, there are times when you are expecting will not come the way you are expecting at the time when you are expecting. It means I have got, I'm telling you from as a graduate, not as a learner. I have gone through a lot. But the Lord has never abandoned me. Sometimes, in most cases, if you are at the center of the will of God, all things work together for your good. I'm not hearing you. Saying amen to what I'm saying. If you are at the center of the will of God, all things work together for the good. You are at the center of the will of God. the center of the will of God. You are at the center of the will of God. You are the of the of the will of God. You are of of the of 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 the of 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 if you are at the center of the will of God, that is when you will be able to thank God for everything. For this is His will concerning you in Christ Jesus. Every disappointment, every unmet expectations becomes your stepping stone. I know that in this life, if you are a serious person, you have at least some expectations. 
Uko na angalau matarajio fulani. There is something that you are expecting. Kuna kitu ambacho unatarajia. We must be wait for the announcement. Hata tapungojea tangazo. We are expecting. Sisi tunatarajia. Most of us of us mio la umoja. We are expecting. Wengi wetu wa simio la umoja tunatarajia. All the God that has been put where the speech will be made from. Tayari wameka sulia mahali atakutaniwa. Those of us who are Kenya Kwanza. We are at big unexpected. Wana watu wa Kenya Kwanza tunatarajia. Already the topic is set. Tayari wameka sulia katika chuo kikuu cha Catholic. So we are all of us in what mood? Sisi sote tuko katika hisia gani? We, we are all of us, mamas are saying, we are as it were in on the labor work. I can have a sermon to open a kitanda, chapu you from Gulia Chautuqua Puza. Is it a bed or a table? Jane, I walk at the Mesa, I'm on a kitanda. Okay, you can answer when you step there. But I do with Kanyaga Pai. Okay, let's move on to some of the so, how do you deal with disappointments? When I should get a VIP, we put it in my mouth. That will come. Aba itapuja. When the announcement is made, waka tagazo itafanya. Because somebody sitting here, ana kula mtu ameketi apa. When the announcement will be made, you are likely to be among those who are disappointed. Waka tagazo itafanya wapu na wale sekano tangu kwa miguu mara ambao tapuji kama moyo na kufadaita. All we pray is that it won't be you but your neighbor. Ile na wapu na kwa mosi ya wewe lakini awe jirani yako. If you're not even with me, say amen. Kama na kubali na kubali sema amina. The Bible says in Jeremiah 17 verse 7. Bila na sema katika Jeremiah 17 verse 7 wasta wa sababu. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord. Alibarikuwa mtu yule anaye mtegemea Bwana ambaye Bwana ni tumaini lake. How do we deal with disappointments? Tunakabiliana vipi na kukunchi wa moyo? I need expectations. Matarajio ambayo hayajatimia. Because there are people you will meet. Maana kuna watu utakutana nao. And even you yourself there are situations you will meet. Na hata wewe mwenyewe kuna hali ambazo utakutana nazo which are not working according to what you expected. Some of you who are students, you are expecting to get A, straight A. After the exams, you might end up getting A minus or B. How will you deal with that? This is something that affects all of us, every so every human being on the face of the earth. And as we talk, there are those who are MCS who lost. Some of them who are members of parliament who lost. Some of them who are different members as parents they have lost. And you will meet some of them in your neighborhood. How many will you talk to them? This is the message we share with them. This is the message we share with them. This is not only for your own consumption. But you are to become a channel of blessing. I mean, but you are to become a channel of blessing. That is why we are to be a baraka. Bible says, "Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord." And whose hope is in the Lord? We are to become a channel of blessing. That is why we are to be a baraka. Bible says, "Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord." And whose hope is in the Lord? We are to become a channel of blessing. By the waters and spreads out its roots by the river, and it shall not see and fear when heat comes, but it is leaf shall be green, it shall not be anxious and full of care in the year of drought, nor shall it cease yielding fruit. Take note of those words. My kinikia hayo maneno maana takuwa kama mti, wale upandwa kanda ya maji. Wenezawa mizizi yake karibu na mto hauta, hata, hata wana hofu wakati wa hali ijapo Bali jani laka litakuwa bichi Wala hauta angaika mwaka wa uchache wa mvua Wala hauta hacha kuzaa matunda The Bible begins by telling us the blessed man Bale na anza kukutuambia mebarikiwa mtu This person trusts, he believes, he relies 
He has put his confidence in the Lord. Where you need to begin with in this life is putting your trust in the Lord. Believing in the Lord. Having your confidence not in men. Men can let you down. Bishops can let you down. Brethren can let you down. Relatives can let you down. Our leaders can let us down. Our confidence, our belief must be first and foremost in the Lord. Our confidence must be in the Lord. Then the Bible says verse 8. That also, whose trust is in the Lord, shall be like a tree planted by the waters. It is something that we can relate to. Trees that are next to a stream. Are they not in the trees? Are they in the trees? The Bible says, spreads out its roots by the river. When it's a misis yake karibu na mto, and so it is drawing water from the river. Basi na take a match kuto kamtoni. It is not relying on the. Whether it, it rains or not, it is next to a river. It is roots are spread around the, the waters by the river, and it shall not see and fear when it comes. That tree is confident. Whether it is dry season or wet season. It is irrelevant to it. Whether it rains does not rain doesn't matter. It has a secret. It has a secret nobody sees. The secret is hidden in the soil. Its roots are connected to the waters. It's drawing water from the river. It's not relying on the rains. It shall not see and fear when heat comes. But it is leaf shall be green. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wish we had time to talk about this verse. What does the leaf mean? What does the roots mean? Eh, manishanini, misisi na manishanini. Bible says the leaves will not, will not, I mean, shall be green. Bene sema jani lake litakuwa bichi. Even when the heat comes. Hata wakati wa hari. But its leaves shall be green. Bali jani lake litakuwa bichi. It shall not be anxious and full of care in the year of drought. When there is no rain, when there is disappointment, when it is expectation to receive rain has not been met, that tree will not be anxious and be full of care. No, 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 shall it cease yielding fruit. And it will keep on yielding fruit. Whether it rains, whether it does not rain. All vegetations rely on the rains. Even those that were looking yellow, once it rains, they change the color. Even those that were dying, once it rains, they are illuminated. But for this particular tree next to a stream, next to a river, it's not anxious. It does not take care whether it rains or not raining because it is connected to the source of water. Hallelujah! It's not ceasing yielding fruit. Even during a dry season, this tree is yielding fruit. This believer is rejoicing in the Lord. 
This believer is joining in the Lord. This brother, even if this sister has disappointed him, this sister, even when this brother has disappointed her, she was still in the fellowship. She's still in the intercessory team. She's still winning souls for Jesus. She's still in the praise and worship team. She's not saying that was the man here. What are you going to forget down your room? Abana. Hello. Hello. He's not saying. I say me because my business has not performed the way I was expecting. I can't go to church anymore. I can't pray anymore. I can't do this anymore. No. Now, this brother, this sister, is still believing God. Is still trusting God. And the things work or don't work. The trust and the belief is in God. Not on the circumstances. Not on the rain. Are you understanding? So your friends. Remember, we celebrate. Remember the IEPC announces as you are Moja or Kenya Kwanza. All of us are celebrating as Kenyans. IPC itagazi as no la umoja ama Kenya kwanza sisi sote tunasherekea kama wa Kenya wa shida I understand it jengo na elewa you have no reason hauna sababu and you will need to guide your neighbors itabidi usaidie majirani zako you need to talk to those you can talk to itabidi ongelesha na mbona unaweza ongelesha our real source as a nation chanzo chetu hadi kama taifa is built in the law ili chekwa katika bwana absolutely must be six Reminds us that He is God who made the boundaries of where we are. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! From one man. Okay, you give us from India. Okay, that's all right. I'm fine. And He made from one common origin, one source, one blood, all nations. From Adam, he made all nations of men to settle on the face of the earth, having definitely determined their allotted periods of time and the fixed boundaries of their habitation, their settlements, lands, and apples. Biblia na semana ya lifanya kila taifa la wanadamu kutoka katika moja. Wakati juu ya uso wa nchi yote akisha kuwekenya kati ya hizo ziamuru tangu zamani na mipaka ya makazi yao. Okay, it's okay in gaps. And he has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth. And has determined their pre appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings. They are not the Europeans who came and scrapped for Africa in 1884 from the Berlin Conference that was ordered by Otto von Bismarck. Nani yadewa? That determined the boundaries of countries. Sia ale, mabeberu wali opitia kutalia in Kenya ni wali amua ama Afrika wali amua mipaka ya mataifa. You remember the Berlin Conference that was called by a man by the name of Tomon Bismarck. It was a conference where the, the, the nations that at that time of course the civilized nations were to attend. Those that had been having interest in Africa. Some were coming to looking for slave trade, others coming looking for Sources of rivers like River Nile and things like those. They were the brothers. They were the brothers. In that conference, they say, "Otto von Bismarck say, we are Bismarck and say, now don't just go to Africa and do what you are doing. Go there and mark the boundaries. Go there and occupy half territories. And then you will find that 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 by those men from this verse he is God he predetermined that Kenya should be where it is and 
iwe mahali lipo Uganda is where it is Uganda iwe mahali lipo Tanzania where it is Tanzania iwe mahali lipo Sudan where it is Sudan iwe mahali lipo Some of you have gone out of the Kenya the moment you step in another country you know quickly that you are not in Kenya Wakati mmeenda nje ya Kenya mahali unataka nyingi katika taifa lingine utatakuwa haraka kwamba hauko Kenya You don't need to be told Awitaji kuambiwa even when you are flying in the air hata wakati unapaa angani kwa ndege you leave the title of Kenya something tells you i'm now out from Kenya wakati unatoka katika eneo la Kenya kitu kinakuambia sasa niko nje ya Kenya and again when you are coming back at the moment you fly it something tells you now i think i think hapa tumefika Kenya na wakati unarudi kwa ndege tena kitu kinakuambia hapa tumefika Kenya why but nini you are where god wants you to be uko mahali ambapo mungu anataka uwe bible says from one man he made every nation of men that they should inhabit the whole earth and he determined the times set for them and exact places where they should live na alifanya kila taifa la wanadamu kutoka katika mmoja wao mmoja wakae juu ya uso wa nchi yote alisha kuwekea nyakati alizoziamuru tangu zamani na mipaka ya makazi yao that's why if you go to cameroon not in God's will, you will suffer there. Ya sababu ukienda Cameroon pasipo mapenzi ya Mungu utataseka bali. You will live like a monkey in Cameroon. Utaishi kama tumbili kule Cameroon. If you go to USA, I get us his will. Ukienda USA kinyume cha mapenzi yake. That's why some of them are there digging graves. So they are there begging on the streets. Ya sababu pia wako pale wanachimba makaburi ya wengine nao mabomba barabarani. Most of the African Kenya and Kenyans begging on the streets, sleeping on the streets. Ukienda Afrika Kusini unapata kuna wakili wanalala barabarani ni omba omba barabarani. But of course there are others there that are lecturers, university lecturers. Lakini hata hivyo kuna wengine pale ambao ni wahadhiri wa vyuo vikuu. There are some there engineers, doctors. Kuna wengine pale ni wahandisi na madaktari. Then there are others there who went to South Africa and they are living on the streets, sleeping and covering themselves with cartons. Ila hali kuna wengine walienda pale Afrika Kusini wanalala barabarani wanajifunika na cartons. That is God God's will for them was to be in Kenya, but they thought by going to South Africa, that is where they will get the green pastures. Kwa sababu mapenzi ya mungeli kwa na wa wala hapa Afrika, kwa wala tukilia wa kienda pale, wa wala Kenya, wala kwa wala kenda South Africa. He determined the times set for them and the exact places where they should live. Ali wa Kenya kata ya suzi ya muri na mahali amba kwa lifa kuhishi. Somebody say, I thought God am a Kenyan, if you are a Kenyan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go back and finish from Jeremiah 8, 17, 8. Let's go to verse 9. 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 The heart is deceitful above all things beyond cure. Who can understand it? Mwari huwa mdanganyifu kuliko vitu vyote kuna ugonjwa wa kufisha nani amezae Mwongea tu kuhusu kumtumaini ya Bwana and they like him who is trusting in the Lord to a tree next to a stream of water akilinganisha ni tumaini ya Bwana kwa mtu ambapo karibu na mto wa maji then he talks about the heart in verse 9 alafu mstari wa 9 anaongea kuhusu moyo my dear friends that is how do you deal with disappointments and unmet expectations. Kuna shughuli kia vipi kuvunjika moyo na matarajio ambayo hayajatimia? I have given you my personal experience. Nimewapatia tajriba yangu ya kibinafsi. In those many years. Katika hiyo miaka mingi. But when I look back, lakini napangalia nyuma. I thank the God that I went through that. Ninashukuru Mungu kwamba nilipitia hayo. Once in a while I meet her. Mara moja moja mimi ukutana na yeye. She is not dead. Yeye hajafa. And every time I meet her, I know what she's thinking. Lakini wakati nakutana naye najua kile nini anafikiria. I lost an opportunity. Anasema nilipoteza fursa. Okay, aniambii. Asante guys. Lakini kiangalia macho. And me, she knows what I'm thinking. I say, I thank God. Na yeye pia anajua kile anafikiria, anasema, nashukuru Mungu. She delivered me from Adelaila. Alikuomba kutoka kwa Delila. I would it be where I am. Isika alikuwa mahali nilipo. Kwa that one. Na huyo Number one, how do you deal with this? 
Don't give that event too much importance. Don't give that event that has caused the disappointment or that animated expectation too much of importance. We have a habit of enlarging situations. We enlarged the significance of a particular event. We've just been disappointed. You want to enlighten. You want to make it look great. You want, you want to expand your you want to give it the attention beyond what is needed. We are saying now what you have to deal with it. Don't give the event too much importance. Let's for example assume oh, that as Asmiyo La Umoja will be declared Baba Asmiyo La Umoja will be declared the winner. And you were in the other team, I mean Kenya, Kenya Kwanza. Don't give it too much attention. Oh, my Jamawa And he's me Jama, he's me Jama. Unaona Kwanza, he's me Jama. Sasi wa Jama, me Jama. Naniyeleo. Amen. <laughs> don't, don't declare fasting. You kind of just think through what you went through. Think through and, and look at those t shirts, the yellow t shirts that maybe you are receiving or something. Now, what you are saying, don't give it too much attention. Whatever kind of disappointment. Whatever kind of unmade expectation, don't give it too much attention of, of importance over your life. Number two, see the event as just one of the small things in your life. Oh, something that is not of any importance. Just see it as part of issues that happen to people. And you are life specific. You are being disappointed. You thought you were passing this exam, you have failed. Don't commit suicide. Don't give up life. Don't refuse to brush teeth and, and, and to take shower. Don't do those kinds of things. See it as just one of, of the small things in your life. Number three. How do we deal with these things? Let it go as fast as possible. Brush it as fast as possible. I repeat, there are things in this life that will not happen the way you want them to happen. Yes, They will not happen at the time you want them to happen. No matter how hard you have tried or how prayer, how much prayer you have put in. Since the thoughts of God are not like your thoughts, neither is his ways like your own ways. As high as the heavens are from the earth, so are his thoughts higher than your own thoughts. And his ways higher than your own ways. Yes, in dunia ma inchi livio mbali na mbingu hivyo livio mawazo yake na inchi ya zake zilivio mbali na zake. Because of that, kwa sababu ya hiyo, the Lord will ensure wana taakikisha that his will concerning your life prevails. Mapenzi yake kusu maisha yako ya natimia. Against your own, own, own convenience. Kenyime chakile wewe unataka. There are things you will want them to go like this 
and they come like this. You have life for promotion and you are denied. Yet you qualify. If you don't know how to deal with that, you will not be able to be ready for the next breakthrough that God was arranging or planning for your life. And I've given you my own story. If I had to backslide at that time, I say, I'm a good young man, I can just get in and bring my cottage. I would have lost the blessings that I'm enjoying today. Are you sure that you are following? It is there. There is unmet expectations. You want this at this time, the thing fails. Things don't always go the way we want. Or at the time when we want them. Especially if we love the Lord. It will be according to his will. So let it go as fast as possible. Because the longer that you hold on it, the more pain you cause to your heart. Things have happened against your heart. Expectations. And you begin nursing that. You begin meditating on that. You begin holding on that. You begin to rehearse that event in your mind. You are polluting your life. You are ruining your spiritual life. And even your physical life, you end up developing high blood pressure. As soon as possible, let it go and get going. Somebody who was walking and he fell down. You cannot keep on lying there. Imagine I just sleep and kanguka hapa. You wake up as soon as possible and get going. I think I saw another lady near a spot of. She was putting on this to very high heeled to shoes. Very high. So as she was walking, I think she fell to sit some steps. You know, up to super. They are people who are going to pick up his work up. And you see, you know how these people put off. She fed me, I saw. Then you like She woke up in a split second. I think one of those souls, your soul, But that's why. I can't think I can't walk to my I can't walk to my son. These men who are laughing, they were calling us, calling Madame Paul. Oh, oh, no, no, no. She was not answering anyone. She didn't go there to look behind. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let it go as fast as possible. She just went to the people and I don't know what she did. She must have just walked on foot and looked for a shoemaker to fix back. She fell the wrong folly. Okay, number four. Learn from the disappointment. And you can plan to do it different next time. Learn from the disappointment. And learn from that disappointment. What I went through, I learned from it. 
And so I had to do things differently. Learn from the disappointment. From that unmet expectation. Do it differently. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You just need to move ahead. Number five. Number five. Develop a new expectation. And don't think the new expectation should be lower than the first one. Develop new expectation. Just continue moving on. Number five. Focus on what you want. Not on what you don't want. Or not so much on the past failure. Some of these things can be so painful, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They can really, 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 really be so disappointing. But if you can't do this, you will not be able to move forward or you cannot be able to enter in your destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our former president, President Memory, Mike Bucket, he failed as a presidential candidate several times. Three, three times. Four times. Three times. He was failing. But he didn't give up. Then somebody said, My torture. Hallelujah. And he went through and he became one of the best, actually the best presidents that Kenya has had since independence. Very humorous man. But very serious, knowing what is happening where. Somebody said, Amen. If he had given up, and lost that kind of expectation. He would not have become the president. My sister, you have been disappointed. In the area of marriage. Don't put a roadblock on marriage and say marriage for what? Just keep on trusting God. My brother, you have been disappointed by sisters. You knock here, the door is closed. You knock here, the door is half open. You knock here, the door is not opening. Don't refuse to. Oh, no, just keep on knocking. The real doors will soon be open. Somebody shout Amen. So focus on what you want. Not on what you don't want or on the so, not so much on the past failure. Number six. Learn from the experience. Failure is just an opportunity to learn and improve. Most of these people that succeed, they don't so much recognize or focus on Mr. Failure. They don't. They see their failure as an opportunity. They see their failure as another uh, opportunity for them to do better. They see it as an opportunity to succeed. More so, those of us who are born again. Number seven. Yes, Forgive. Disappointments will be caused by men, of course, and women. Or even sometimes we ourselves. We can set expectations for our own selves. Too high than what we are able to achieve. And so that expectation fails to be met. 
Na kwa hivyo ile tarajio linakosa kupatikana. So you get you are disappointed. Unapata umepotika moyo a discouraged. Umekatishwa tamaa. Forgive yourself. Jisamehe. Forgive people. Samehe watu. Because people will disappoint you. Maana watu watakugonja moyo. Tell your neighbor people will disappoint you. Ambia jirani watu watakugonja moyo. Sometimes relatives, sometimes friends, sometimes brethren. Wakati mwingine jamaa zako, wakati mwingine marafiki, wakati mwingine wapendwa. Sometimes pastors wakati mwingine hata wachungaji they will disappoint you watakuvunja moyo sometimes you yourself wakati mwingine ni wewe mwenyewe you will disappoint yourself utajivunja moyo mwenyewe you declare i'm going into 40 days prayer and fasting dry unatakasa naenda katika siku ya 40 za kufunga na kuomba kafu no food no drink no water no nothing hakuna chakula maji kinywaji chochote you have never fasted for three days you know consecutively dry na ujaye funga siku tatu siku patana kavu you begin unaanza you have announced everywhere you have announced yourself you have even announced to God umetangaza kila mahali umejitangazia hata umetangazia Mungu after four days baada ya siku nne the breathing is a problem you are not waking up hata kumwa ni shida hata uamuki you are just standing from one side to the other side you can hata ukiweka tu pale mmoja hadi mwingine uwezi So you decide Hata mungu amesikia maombi yangu acha tu nikule kwa kidogo Forgive yourself Jisamee for setting very high expectations that what you will be able to achieve Kwa kuweka matarajio ya juu zaidi kuliko kile ambacho ungeweza kutupa Forgive people Samehe watu for setting a lot of expectations from them kwa kuweka matarajio mengi sana kutoka kwao you have applied for a, a, a job walituma maombi ya kazi and you are the expected na hakika ulikuwa unatarajia kabisa and they don't respond or respond negatively ah wakujipa ama majibu yao si mazuri forgive them for failing to see your real qualification wasamee kwa kosa kuona kwa itimu kwa kwa halisi nani ya leo forgive them wasamee forgive them they will hurt you wasamee watakuumiza to do things that are not right fanya mambo ambayo si sahihi number number 7 yes. number 8 number 8 9 tisa. let go of shame wacha na aibu iende as soon as possible eh kwa haraka iwezekanavyo get someone to talk to tafuta mtu wa kuongelesha about your disappointment kuhusu kuvunjwa moyo kwako and you are met expectations na matarajio yako ambayo hayajatimia let go share wacha aibu itoweke don't lock yourself in the room usijifungie katika nyumba don't refuse to go for fellowship usikatae kwenda kwa ushirika don't take, don't hide your face usifiche sura yako because things have happened contrary to what you were expecting kwa sababu mambo yametendeka kinyume cha yale uliyokuwa unatarajia As we await the announcement, la posubiri tangazo. Don't 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 lock yourself in the house because your presidential candidate has not been declared the winner. Usijifunge ndani ya chumba yetu kwa sababu mwaniaji wa rais aliyokuwa anapendelea hajatangazwa kuwa mshindi. Yanga don't lock yourself in the house if you eat it because that man has disappointed you. Mstari mdogo usijifungie katika chumba ukatae kukula kwa sababu huyo kijana amekuvunja moyo. My dear parent, don't 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 hide that your child because of his performance or her performance at school. Mzazi mwenzako usipiche huyo mtoto kwa sababu ya kisa anapofanya katika shule. Because God would say my name. Hello. Hello. Let go the shame. Wacha aibu iende. As soon as possible tell someone someone about you is appointed. Na haraka iwezekanavyo mwambie mtu kuhusu kukunjwa moyo wako. Talk to somebody you trust. Ongelesha mtu anayeamini. As you do that talking, you release yourself. Unapofanya hayo mazungumzo unajiwachilia. This is a matter that is was why they tell us that women live longer than men. Hii ndio miongoni mwa sababu nyingine wanatuambia wanawake wanaishi maisha marefu kuliko wanaume. Sisters is it true that you outlive men? Lakini hata ni kweli kwamba wanaishi zaidi ya wanaume. There are more widows, elderly widows than We elderly widows. Kuna wajana wa kike wengi kuliko wazee. Kuliko wajana wa kiume wengi wazee. Come on, talk your neighbor is true. Angalisha jirani ni ya kweli. That is what they tell us. 
Hiyo ndio anatuambia. Now among other reasons, miongoni mwa sababu nyingine so is because women talk. Tukasema kwa na watu kuzungumza. They talk a lot, they speak out. Wanaongea wanatoa maneno. She is annoyed she pours out her heart. Amekasirika anamwaga moyo yake. Of course some of them they do that by exaggerating, they do that by gossiping. Hata hivyo baadhi yao wanafanya mko kutia chumvi wengine ni masinge. That is another problem. Hapo tena ni tatizo jingine. But <laughs> we went through talking. Lakini wanawake kupitia kwa kuzungumza, they get healing. Wanapona, they get a release. Wanapata achilio. They they shed off their stress. Wanapunguza mfumuko wa mawazo. Those of us who are married may God give us the grace. When she speak, when she begins talking, just allow her. Even if you are not following so much, just just pretend you are following. Allah, come on, Amanaka. Sure. How comes? You just keep on pretending that. <laughs> Because you are somebody is being here. The challenge we have most of us who are born again. Who are married. She begins to talk. You, you only begin to end the stone. 